guys, it's your boy Humble Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video, and today this is gonna be a little something different. We're gonna be reacting to one of my subscribers who started up a started her own YouTube channel called Life with and sorry if I mistake a word again, Michaela. Michaela, so, so that's I think that's how she told me, but, but either way. She started up her new channel as of today and her and right now she has a video right now which is this one obviously and it's called story time I got my heart broken so and apparently she, what she's gonna do is like I guess tell her, her story of her, uh, like her experience and so I guess in a previous relationship she was in and and I like talking to her. She's always like nice. She's understanding. She pretty, no doubt. And anytime when me and her like text each other on Instagram, and just for, and it's like it's no, we're not like going out or anything. Not, not to say if I would. Not, and it's like this. Even if I would, I'm pretty, I'm probably pretty much not in her league, in her league or so. But either way, like she just came from a pre previous relationship or so, so I won't stress her at that much. But either way, I, I, I told her that when I was coming home from work today, I was going to react to her video. So we'll check it out right here. So without further ado, let's get into the video. What is up to It's your girl, Kayla. That would be me so many times. I always mess up with my, I always try to, I always mess up my words and such. But hey, <laughs> okay, okay, I see you. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. It's your girl Kayla here. So today I'm going to be talking about the day I got. Well, the time I got heartbroken uh i just wanted to like do this video because maybe it's because i haven't moved on and i'm still like on the topic um but yeah maybe this is a good way to like just relieve everything and probably um move forward but uh this had been my I third relationship too. i've had three relationships throughout my whole year my whole life so this last one has been very heart touching heart wrecking heartbreaking and yeah i just wanted to share with your my experience with you guys so that way y'all can learn and not fall for what i did so this had all been around mayish we in August now. So this had to, this was like around Aprilish, Mayish. Um, I had broken up with my my other ex boyfriend and I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna date, I'm gonna focus on myself, you know, become a better person, a better version of myself, and maybe when I become a and she, and she is no without a doubt. Better version of myself, I would attract a better man so i have been single for maybe like three weeks it wasn't even that much time but i was like single for like three weeks and i have this friend um he he was my friend because we follow each other through instagram because we're both gemini so we like bonded over that and i had told him i had told my best friend maya that he was available so there were a couple and then he had told me when i said that i was single he had told me yeah i have a friend um his name is let's call him jack um his name is jack and he would like to meet you so i had followed him first and i had like say like hey and then he had said hey so the first minutes of the conversation 
it went really well like there was no awkwardness there was no like shyness you know it was just like texting mm. back and forth and actually like okay. getting to know each other like that that's the first thing in a relationship if you're gonna wanna be in a relationship get to know each other because you can't just rush into it so so this was like the third day and mm. i'm gonna tell y'all don't be desperate when it comes to a relationship because at the end of the True. day it's just not gonna end well it's not gonna you're not gonna vibe with the person like you always vibe with so yeah that's the truth right there like if you try to like be so desperate with it let's just say you even if you wanted the chance with one another if you're all de desperate to get to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever it ain't gonna end well so just just be just be patient we had this had been like we had started dating the same day like we were like yeah we vibe this and that um like that you know no, I'm sure. i don't mean it like that i'm just, i'm just saying geez, after the third day Well, she's talking true though, like, like to reiterate, like she said that, don't be desperate and so, hey, a lot of people need to, a lot of people need to start listening to that, cause most of them end up messing up their relationship, so, they gotta watch out for what they do, watch, watch the, wow, wow. sorry, I'm just, Still tired. I'm just. I just like got home from work like an hour ago or so, and I, I'm not my mess. But hey, I'm committed to do this for her. So, and the thing, and at the end of this, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna link her channel in the description down below. I feel you. You feel me? Like damn. Like we should like just date. So we had dated like the first day. And the second day, you know, we kept on, like, getting to know each other. We kept on, like, talking. But you can't get to know somebody in, like, 20 or 48, not even a week. Like, you need to get to know that person for a To me, personally, if you're going to, you need to know to know them for at least what? In my opinion, she said, like, for a week or so. I don't know if that's the video part. Like, but to me, I would say you would have to know them for at least about a month or so. I don't know. Probably, that's just me, but if I would want to get to know some, get to know a girl that much, I would have to, you would have to give me a month or so, because a week? I ain't going to know that much about her in a week. A month maybe, but not a week. Because, trust me. It's like this, my memory is not all that good, so in order for me to remember a whole whole bunch of stuff from her, you would have to give me a month. A couple of months before you guys settled down, and that was a mistake that I did. I was just rushing. I was like... That's a bad, and that's a bad choice right there. Not to, and I'm not bashing her in it, but... That's a little mistake what everybody always do. Always try to rush into it because that's what happens. And to be honest with you, I'm going to tell my story on it too. So I'm going to tell my my story time on it. But anyway. I, did, I just like, I just want attention. I just want love, this and that. And he had promised to like love me and all. So after that, uh, I want to say, if he doesn't mean it, I'm just saying, I may not know the whole world she's telling it, but from, if I was like friends but also, I don't know, so, so she let me. The fifth or fourth day, he, we had been in a group chat, and we were texting, and he had said, I love you, and so there was like a moment of silence, like my friend and her boyfriend had like went silent, they were like, and I was just like, uh, I don't know. First of all, why the heck you up? Well, 
I don't know, so don't judge me. I don't know. I don't know what goes in other people's life. Don't judge me. I ain't that nosy. Oh, sure. I'm sorry, guys. That is like this. It's just that my internet is sometimes slow, so you would have to. I would have to keep doing stuff like this, so. I should say it back, or should like I um, I don't know. Like, should I stay silent? Like, you know. You should have just did it privately. You know, even though if they're your friends or whatever, it's like this. To me personally, if you do that, you're going to say that you love your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever. If you say that to them and you're in a group chat with other people and such, let's just say it might get a little aggressive. Just saying. Because some people, some people in life are tend to be very, very nosy. They don't know when to be quiet or don't know when to keep a secret or whatever. But they, in the end, they're just nosy. So sometimes you just gotta don't say nothing. You know when opinion. you're like in a difficult situation, like should I say it back or should I just... Like I did not know what I was doing. So I was like, I love you too. And at that moment, I thought I was in love. I was like... I got a boyfriend, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And so, after that, we had, um, we just kept... And the thing is, with her, like, at first when she said she, this is her third relationship, I'm like, God dang. You better than me. <laughs> I've only had one relationship. But, you know what? I don't know if I should tell it or not, but it's whatever. Kept talking. And then, after like a month, or like three, yeah, like after like three. Three, three months. A month or three months? What is it? What is it? Man, I wish I, man, I wish I had passed her internet, cause that way it won't slow down on me. But if you said you a month or three, I'd be like, damn, that was quick. <laughs> Weeks, um. Oh, three, three weeks. Isn't that still a month? There was this day that he just stopped texting me. Uh oh. My my guys out there, that's when you know problem gonna start if you don't stop if you don't text your girl. Like what? Weeks. She said. Um. There was this day that he just stopped texting me, and I was like. Huh? Yeah, it does. Once you start, stop texting your girl. Let's just say they're gonna be very, very suspicious of you. Just so, say. I thought something had happened. And I was like, wait, why isn't he texting me? Like, Nah, I'm not saying that. I'm not. What is going on? And... I had texted him, like, good morning. If you did, it's like this. For me personally, if whenever my girl texts me good morning, the minute, when, the minute when I wake up and so, and she texts me good morning, I am some other. And she, but it's like this. When she texts me good morning, you see how fast I'm going to answer her back. When I'm sleep, whatever I'm like sleep, still sleep or whatever. As soon as when I wake up and I see the text, I'm telling her good morning, mate. I don't give a damn. He didn't text That's me back, and then I had texted him like, "What you doing?" Like throughout, like that was like in the morning, and then like. Damn. You don't answer the first time. 
and don't actually do the second time. And something probably wrong with him, but like, you just say. At 12, I had texted, like, what you do? 12. Oh, hell no. It's not if you hear any boo like that sound. That's my mom's phone on my on my box right there. So. so then it came to like three o'clock, and I had texted like, "Are you okay or something?" Dang, dude, what the heck, nigga? Why you not gonna text her for? You literally. So that means, dang, nigga, like what the heck? Four hour? You haven't texted her in four hours? What the heck, man? Like that. And he did not answer. He would leave me on scene. Dude, what the heck is wrong with you? You, if you leave, hold up. You need to tell me you leave a girl like her on scene for four hours. Four hours. What is wrong with you? Okay, or something like that. And he did not answer. He would leave me on scene. But he did not answer, so I was like, what is going on? So I texted his friend, and I was like, bro, like, what is wrong with him? Did I do something? Did I say something? I don't know what he, unless something's going on. Unless you're in an emergency and you can't get your phone right now, you better have a good excuse, boy. Like, the heck? So I'm here out apologizing. Like I literally wrote this paragraph. If you didn't do it, look here. This is what I always say if you're in a relationship and your other person is texting. If you didn't do nothing wrong in the first place, why are you texting a long paragraph? Like I know, trust me. Like if you didn't, if you know you didn't do nothing wrong in the first place, you don't have to, you don't have to say sorry or so. Granted, what it, it's like, granted, even if you're a boyfriend or girlfriend, no matter what, if you didn't, if you know in your heart you didn't do nothing wrong, you don't have to say sorry. So, I don't know. That's your, that's just me. Saying like, I apologize for this and that, blah, 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 and... He had like, he just saw it, he didn't like like it, he didn't like comment on it, he just saw it, like, he just saw it, he left me on red, and I was like, okay. So I had gone to sleep, and I was like worried, I was like, maybe like something happened, he just can't answer, you know, like, I didn't want to put myself, like, I don't like when people like, assume things, like, you know, don't. Yeah, like, basically... You just jump into conclusion at that point. Wait till you get all the information and then you can assume things. Whether it's good or bad, wait till you get all this wait till you get all the evidence and such. And then you can say what you wanna say or so. Don't jump into it yet, so okay. Assume just like you know, stay calm with the situation. So, I'm an overthinker, <laughs> and I told myself I'm not gonna assume this and that, but I just kept overthinking. I was like, maybe I said something. I'm trust me, if I was, it's like this, and it's like, all right, it's like this. If I was her man. And she's texted me a whole bunch of times about what I'm doing and so one or two things I'm either at. Either one, I'm at school, or two, I'm at work. If it's none of those two or three, I'm at a soccer game and then I can't answer my phone right now. If it's none of those three, then I should not have then I should not leave her on read or anything. 
that hip sapphire was her man. But it's whatever. Maybe I did something he did not like and he just doesn't want to talk to me. Maybe he wants a break. What is going on? And so the next day he had texted me. He was like, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a lot of things going on my mind, this and that. So I had told him, don't do that. Like, if you have something, you know. Dude, if you had something on your mind, she's your girl, right? Talk it with her. Point simple. You got a problem, no matter what it is, talk it with her. She gonna have the problem. She gonna have it. She gonna have a situation solved for someone. If you have something in your mind, tell me, hey, yo, like, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna talk to you today because I'm going through a lot. And, you know, and I will understand, like, if you want to go AWOL exactly. for a week, if you want to go MIA for the whole month, at least explain to me why you're going MIA and stuff, and maybe I will. Well, I wouldn't say a month and uh, a week, fine, but not a whole time of month. My problem seems that big, but for a week, I'll tell you. But he did not. He just ghosted me. He was like, I'm not well, talking then. to her today, and that's basically what happened. So, I thought everything was going good. And then the following week, I... It's like this. No matter... It's like this. Even if... It, no matter if it's a man or a woman, right? Oh, if you're going through a situation, right? And, right? and you say you just need some time alone. Let your significant one know. Because if you don't tell them at that... If you don't tell them, they're going to think... They're going to assume that they did something wrong to you when you know that's not the case let them know before you go a war or so point and simple i had my friend had come from new jersey to sorry about this again guys you know it's my internet problem so it's a bit slow at some time so and plus with the internet that's come the bill that's coming out in two days you know so i'm trying my best here puerto rico it's like this the way how this video is going to be right now it's probably going to be like a 30 minute video or so but hey i wanted to give out content and i wanted to shout her out so i'm doing my best so, so we were spending the whole day together and that day i was like well i'm gonna say hi this and that i'm literally gonna tell him that i'm gonna be at the beach and that i'm not gonna you know be able to like call him and stuff okay that would be simply reasonable to me like i would like I, it's like this and for all you guys who are getting like smutty or so that's my word for people who get little dirty mind or so but it's like i i'm not hurting you boyfriend or whatever and she's not my girlfriend i'm just saying if i was her man or so and she said like she was going to the beach and so and she won't go and call me fine i may be a little bit suspicious but at least at least when I, she explained why well she already explained why but that's all so we go to the beach right and i call him because he has not answered my text from the other night so i'm like this call to see what's up guys like i said before sorry about that sorry about my mom phone ringing and we literally i literally it's called off. and i'm like yo like what's up like did i do something he's like no you didn't do anything you know so, i'm just here exactly. chilling you know i was laughing yesterday because like you were all like you know cray cray whatever and i'm just how is it, how is she acting cray cray if she's worried about you? Me personally, I wouldn't. I'm not laughing or so. I'm not going to do that. If she's actually worried about me, why well, I think I would, I'm not saying she's crazy. If she's crazy for a reason. In my head, I'm like, so you're going to tell me. You could have texted me back because you were chilling, you were smoking weed outside. 
Like, that is your excuse. And he literally said it without any, like, you know, no. He just said it, like, I was smoking yesterday. I was chilling with the bros. And I was okay. Okay, and? It's like this. If you're going to do something and you're not, and you're not going to be texting back your girl for a little while, let her know before. Beforehand, because you can't just literally do it the day when she texting you. Like, did you forget you had a girlfriend? That's what I'll be. Is be that like. it? I would be like that. So, that had just got me ticked off. And I was like, you know what? Okay, blah, blah, blah. At least you're okay, you know? Me focusing on the bigger picture to not be like a bitch or anything. I was like, um, thank God that you're okay. You know, you're good, this and that. So, I was like, well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. After that, he never texted me. So, I kept texting him. And he just... Ooh. Left you on read. He disappeared. He didn't text wow. me anything. So I was like, you know what? We're breaking up. And we had I had breaking up with him like the first week because he did the same thing. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give second chances. Up. You see, th th that's the thing I don't know about second chances. Like, how even if you did give them a second chances and he messed it up again. Why the hell are you gonna keep giving him more and more chances? Is it if your second chance if you messed up the second time, you're done. You're finito. Um But I guess I was just like a piece to feed his ego or I don't know. Like I just his don't ego. know what went wrong. But I'll tell you what went wrong. He probably went wrong because he but he the one messed up. He never he never like he never broke up. He never like you know sped up the process. So I was just like okay. And when somebody abruptly literally me coming from a relationship that was really toxic and that mm. he like it ended too so bad like they like he literally just blocked me. And so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to give this person a second chance because the way he seems and the way he is portraying himself is a very different person. And then to get, like, hurt the same way, it's like I'm over relationships and stuff. And so now I have, like, some friends that, like, want to become a relationship. And because of my past, I just can't, like, I'm just not up for a relationship right now. It's like this thing. That's, you, there's, there's, some men are like snakes, right? I assume it's like they slither in to catch their prey when they're not. I don't know how to say it, like, but if you got some men who are like gonna sneak their way in into you when you just got out of a toxic relationship, you better. It's like this. For me personally, I don't ever do that. That's not my style. I don't go snooping into other people's. I don't go snooping into girls like that when they just got out of a bad relationship. If I'm a friend to them, or I'm a brother to them, or whatever, that's fine. I'm not trying to jeopardize. It's like this. Yeah, and you know what? Call me a simp all you want, okay? And I'd rather be a simp than a nigga who don't know the meaning of the word respect. So call me a simp. I'd rather be a simp than a jackass, period. Right now, and I literally am just focusing on me and focusing on my school, um, finishing senior year, you know, getting my GPA right, okay. getting accepted to all the okay. universities that I want to go to. Damn. Damn, girl, you f Man, with the way how this whole, co co this whole corona situation, shoot. She's doing better than And me. I just, like, I'm just not up for it. But I did want to expose this out. So that way y'all have an understanding where I'm coming from. And it's not that I just don't want to, like, date. It's just I've been into an experience where I am not going to get hurt again. Like, I don't want to get hurt again. So, yeah. But I hope y'all like this video. I hope y'all can relate to this video. I hope there's a girl out there that could say, I went through that. Or even a guy that could say, yo, like this happened to me. Um, but yeah.
But I hope you guys like this little story time. Um, all I want to say is that if you do not feel the person no more, just cut it off. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no reason yeah. for you to drag the situation longer. If you don't like that person no more, say bye-bye, throw it in the trash, and don't come back. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, don't, like, don't just, like, keep playing or just keep playing with people's feelings. Because people have feelings, and I, don't, I think that's what people True. don't understand. I have feelings, you have feelings. Maybe you know. It's like this. Some people want to boost up their, like she said before, some people just want to boost up their own ego. Or like, he probably like, oh, I just got into a girl, so I have over there. Dude, if you, it's like this. Don't be braggish, okay? I know there's, I know people always say you gotta believe in yourself and stuff, but some people take it to a whole nother level and they end up falling flat on their ass, point blank. You, I know you got to believe in yourself, but don't take it to a certain point where you going to get hurt, nigga. Whether it's a man or a female, remember to stay humble. Why well, think my... It's like this. You don't see me going out and... It's like this. Trust me, I wouldn't want to go to a party, right? Nothing wrong with it. But it's like this. I'm not going to be one of those niggas who try to act all gangsta I told hoodish and show like got go teeth and so no. I'ma dress decent and all. I'ma dress like I'm rich or whatever, but I'm not. I just got good clothes and I don't care. It's like this. It doesn't matter what you have that makes you fun and all. It's who the who you are that makes you fun at the end of the day, no matter what. Material stuff and so that doesn't make you who you are. It's your character, your integrity, and such that makes you who you are. You're not feeling me, and I'm feeling you. But you tell me, like, yo, I'm not feeling you no more. Get the fuck out. Point. And that's period. simple. And I will understand that. I rather be. I rather you tell me you don't feel me no more, and you don't want to be with me no more, than you keep playing the game that you keep playing and keep literally rolling and on. Cause that's just stupid. That's just not cool. But yeah. But I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys like, share, comment, and yeah. Man, well, guys, that's mostly like the end of the video. But all I gotta say is this. For people who always think that, oh, they're better than everybody, it's like this. Nobody's ever perfect, right? I'm not perfect. She says she's not perfect. No, it's like this. Nobody in the world is the perfect person. We all have our flaws. I know I have mine. She has hers too. Nobody likes to admit it, but trust me, everybody has their flaws. Because I know I'm for sure not perfect. I know I'm not the perfect gentleman or whatever. Yeah, there are some stuff that I might do that you don't like. And yeah, you might do some stuff that I don't like. But in but it's like this. In the end, if it's your thing that you like to do, I got to respect it. And if, and if the things I like to do suits me better and you like it, but you got to respect it though. Because it's my thing and I like to do it. But it's like this. It's like she says. Well, it basically, it's like what I'm trying to say is, don't be so egotistical. Be grateful what you have, because in the end, it going to go away just like that. Whether it's relationship or anything else. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. That was a, that was an experience, no doubt. And like I said, I'm going to leave her link to her channel down in the description below. But yeah. Hope some people learn from her and so. And you know what? I, I might, I might tell my stories. It's somewhat, somewhat like hers, but. Well, I guess it's like hers, but I don't know if I'm ready to do it or so. So, uh, we'll see. But that's the end of the video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And go subscribe to her. Right now she's at five subscribers or so. But let's see if we can run it up more and so for her because I'm because the same way how she showed me love I'm gonna show her love too so it's been your boy humble Ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up let go